All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are for our straight track. There's a lot of dimensions that are on this, but it's really not all that difficult to do. We're going to create a rectangular body. We'll put in the two tracks, and then we'll put on the connectors at the end. Um, there's just some dimensions that we got to make sure that we pay attention to, but we'll be able to get there. So first things first, it says that it's 1 foot or 12 inches long, that it's 3.4 inches wide. So we'll make that, and it has a depth of one inch so we'll make that rectangular part first then we'll start adding the other parts into it so we have our on shape track uh, i thought it there we go as it waits to load up here and get our workspace ready doesn't make a difference where you're going to go from i'm just going to go from the top once again just because i'm looking down on it i want to just think about it in that direction so P and N gets me the right direction here, so it doesn't really make a difference, but I'm just going to go out here, make sure it's horizontal. I'm going to make that 12 inches long. Uh, we said it was going to be 3.4. I should have probably just done a rectangle, shouldn't I? If I... And my line tool doesn't make a difference here just to make sure we got it got to finish that up and extrude that one inch all right so there's my track here so Lots of different things that are going to go on here, but I think in this case, I'm going to take a look at it from the side. I'm going to, from this edge, instead of coming straight down on it, I'm just going to create an outline here of what it's going to look like and then cut it out. And then from the top, we'll probably have to put on these two here. So as I look here, looks like I'm going to go over a distance of 0.4. Then I'm going to come down a distance of 0.1875, and then I got to go over 0.75, and then it tells me how far over again. So I'm just going to create this outline that I have here and cut it right on through. So on this, I'm going to put a new sketch right on that part right there, make sure I have it aligned correctly and the way I want it to be. So just to create... come across and we said that that was 0.4 must have hit something wrong and then said we were going to come down from that 0 0.1875 I think I forgot the one. There we go. All right. And now we've got to go across, but it doesn't tell us exactly how far to go across. It tells us how far it is from the side. So once again, we're going to then just make sure to measure or dimension this to be point seven five, And then we're going to use our line tool to come back up. And we're going to go over. It doesn't really matter what we pick. We just got to make sure we put in the right dimension there. Uh, that dimension from the end is going to be 2.65 that you see here. So this dimension that they've given me is not what I want to measure. So I'm going to have to go back in and dimension from this point to this point is going to be 2.65 there we go and now I know that I'm going to use this to be 0.1875 again
I'm going to go across. Once again, it doesn't tell me exactly how far across that is. It tells me how far it is from that point. So we'll go ahead and just put that in there to make sure that we have that right. And I do believe that that is three. So I just want that to be three there. Then I'm going to use my line tool here. And then I'm at this point, that's all I'm going to need to do. I just want to make sure I have the right dimensions in here. So now I'm going to real quick go ahead and close these two rectangles. I want to make sure, oops, looks like I missed it, didn't I? All right, we'll just go ahead and make that horizontal. There we go. Should have it closed now. And once again, it doesn't look like I got that one closed. So we will coincident that. I may have gone around this so sort of the hard way. You guys may have a better way of doing it. Finish that. We will do an extrusion where we're going to pick both of those pieces. Maybe we're going to extrude. that one and for some reason I have something that isn't closed over here so I'm gonna to have to go back in and fix that just a second here all right it's a little interrupted there but here we go again so we're back to extruding our two pieces here we want to do a remove so we want to turn it and we want to make sure that we go through all we'll click OK and you can see at this point we have added our rails or what the train wheels will fit in on here. So from here, I am going to create a new sketch on the top of that. We are going to add in this piece right here and then we'll add in this one up here. So here we know that this has to be centered. So we know we're going to put, I'm going to put a, circle that has a radius of 0.7 so if i'm going to do a circle it means i got to double it which means it's got to be 1.4 so i'm going to do a circle here do some lines that'll come out here and use our tangent constraints this is a little fillet or round that we'll have in here to make sure that we have this correct so all right so if i have this i'm going to put a circle and i said that that circle Sticking out is going to be 1.4. We know that that has a the edge to here of one inch. From here, I'm going to then create a point somewhere in here and another one in here just to make sure I have these correct it says that this is 0.6 so I know that I need to go over 1.7 to get to the center and if 0.6 here is centered I got to go 0.3 less than 0.3 more so I need a 1.4 and a 2.0 where those are going to be All right, and then from there, I'm just going to use my line tool to take from that point up to the circle. Use this line tool to go up to the circle. I'm going to use my trim tool to trim away this piece right there. And from here, I am going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude this piece 
and I need it to go the other direction, and one inch is what we had the thickness is, so we're okay there. So I have that, and then the last thing is I'm just going to real quick do a fillet or a round of 0.19 is what it says there. And click OK. And there is my add-on to be able to do that. So the last thing we want to do is once again, we're going to create a new sketch on that plane. And we're going to do basically the same thing. We know we're going to put a circle of one, but since this hole has to be larger, it has a radius of 0.75. So we got to go 1.5 but we're going to come inside one and now this is 0.65 instead of 0.6. So we got a little bit more difficult math to do here, but we should be okay here. 1.5. We know that this distance from here to here, mouse is jumpy today. It's one. We know that we're using the point tool to, just to make sure that we have things in the right place. And we said that that was 1.65, or that was 0.65. So actually, if I take a look here, this should be 0.65. Ooh, I don't know if I have this set up correctly. I don't, I don't have this done correctly. So make sure I have this at centered. I thought I hit the center dotted line. Make sure I have that at 1.7. Uh, not quite. All right. So this distance from here to here, just to make our life a little simpler, is supposed to be half of 0.65. So 0.65 divided by 2. And we can do that with this one also. We're going to create our line here. We'll use our trim away tool once again to trim away that part. Now we can go ahead and finish this by doing a remove extrusion. We're going to make sure it's through all. And we can click OK there. And then the last thing we want to do is take away the sharp edges by putting in a fillet. And it should say that the fillet is once again 0.19. So we'll make sure that that says 0.19 there. And we'll find that corner there. And that corner there. And we have our straight track. That's what the track should look like. Good luck.